This is a video screencast to show you how to share a folder with Dropbox. So let's start from accessing the Dropbox website at dropbox.com. That's up here. And we will be asked to log in. Sign in here at the top right corner. Just click on that and type in your email and password. Okay, so this is your main Dropbox page with all of your files and folders that you've uploaded. I have a lot here. Um, you may not have this many, but everyone's will look different. But this is basically all of the files and folders that you already have. Um, what we want to do is make a new folder that is shared with um, one or more people. Um, some of the things that we can do in Dropbox are here in the top, top bar here, um, these four icons. Um, upload, make a new folder, just a regular folder. And then this is make a new shared folder. This is to share a folder. So that's what we're going to do right now. So click on this. It's a kind of a, a folder looking thing with a, a rainbow icon. Okay. So click on that. All right. And we want to create a new folder and share that. So we have to name it. So um, this folder is going to be visible by everyone you share it with, it'll show up in their Dropbox, so you may want to do something identif identifiable um, so they know it's yours, uh, they know what the content is, something so it doesn't kind of um, blend in with all of their other stuff, so I'm going to put my name here. Okay, and then click Next. Alright, so here we add um, a list of the email addresses for the people who we want to invite. Um, so you can do one or more, let's say I'll do um, John.do you can see as I type an email address and hit space it kind of automatically gets blocked off into this blue box with an icon um, you don't have to do any kind of commas or line breaks it just kind of handles that all for you you can then um, include a message it, it comes with a message uh, kind of a pre-made a pre message but you can kind of add your own personal message if you want to Um, lastly, this option here um, lets the people who you invite, it gives them access or not to invite other people. So if you want to make it strictly just these people who you specifically give access to, then you should turn this off. If you want to allow them to in turn share it with other people, then you would turn it on. So I'm going to turn it off and click Share Folder. Okay, so it says Created Shared Folder and it gives the name. So if I scroll down in my list... Um, here it is, shared folder, John M. You can see that it looks a little different from a regular folder. A regular folder has this icon, a shared folder has these you know, little people. It also says shared folder as opposed to just folder. So let's click on the title of the shared folder and go inside of it. You can see that um, obviously it's a new folder so it starts off as empty. Um, if you want to upload a document into it, you come back up here to this top area, these icons, and this first icon, like I said, is Upload. So click on Upload. And it says Choose Files. Click on the Choose Files button. And then we kind of navigate through our, our computer to um, find something we want to upload. So here's a random document that we want to upload. Um, you can upload any file, any kind of file. Um, however, there's a, a size restriction, and everyone has a different amount of space that you have on your account. So you have to keep that in mind. So click Done. So now I have um, my file uploaded, and then anyone who I, I've granted access to this, fo uh, this folder will get um, the folder to show up in their main Dropbox directory and then have access to this folder. Uh, they'll have read and write access to it so they can download and view it and they can also upload and make a new version they can delete what you have here um, so keep that in mind now just to show you hold on here while I bring this over this is what um, the person who you invite this is what they'll see right it says this person wants to share some files with you using Dropbox 
which is the name of the folder, and I click here. Um, it's not going to work for me because I only have one account, but when uh, you get this invitation or when, you're, when your partners get this invitation and they click the button to access it, um, they'll be asked if they want to accept the invitation or not. They don't have to necessarily accept the invitation. So they'll be prompted yes or no. And then if they say yes, then it will show up. So what it will look like is back, if I go back to my main Dropbox directory, my list of files and folders, it'll look like your folder will show up in your uh, in their list, or just like it does in yours. It'll show up as a new folder, a uh, new shared folder. So if you want to um, edit anything about this folder, if you want to maybe change who has access to it, um, in, in Dropbox on the website, the way you kind of edit any folder or file is um, if you click on the name, it'll go, so if I click on the name of this folder, it'll go inside the folder, like that. However, if I, instead of clicking directly on the name here, I can click kind of next to it, kind of in this empty area, and you can see it light, the row lights up when I mouse over it, when I move my mouse on top. If I click in the empty area next to it, it selects that whole row, and I have extra options up here. You can see when I click off, I don't have those options. When I click back, I do have the options. Um, I can delete download the file, a few things, but if I want to edit who has access to this, I click on shared folder options. And here's the list of everyone who has been invited, who has accepted. It'll say whether they're um, waiting, still waiting to accept the invitation, or if they've already joined. It'll list that here. Uh, then if I want to revoke access, I can come to the drop down here. I can um, resend the email. Maybe they didn't get the email, I can resend it, or I can uninvite them. And that will remove them from the list. Um, Maybe once the project is over and you don't want them to have access to your folder anymore, you can uh, remove access. You can also unshare the folder, right? Remove all access to it. Um, if you do that, you have the option for your your uh, your partners to continue to keep the version of the file that they they had originally, or maybe you want to revoke that that file altogether, and then you click unshare. So uh, that about covers it. Um, that's uh, that's how you share a folder with um, multiple people on Dropbox.